Hello everybody and welcome back to Leeton. Now, as you can see, the slugs are having a right old time on my brassicas. And some of them, a couple of plants, they've taken completely all together. This was a spare that I put out only last week and they've had a right go at it. Now I've put beer traps in which has collected a lot of them I've got to say. <laughs> got rid of quite a lot and I've been out here every night even in the rain hand picking the slugs off the plants and putting them in the beer traps to get rid of them and I would say I've probably killed Oh, at least two or three hundred slugs. But last night I was doing a bit of research and I found something that might help me deter these slugs from my plants. So I'll see you in the shed and I'll show you all about it. So, last night I was doing a bit of research and I'm sure a lot of you already know that copper is meant to deter slugs, as in a copper tape that you put around pots and things like that. And as an engineer, I find, find that quite hard to believe in that the, the, the theory is it gives them an electric shock and they, they won't cross the copper tape. But without a current going into the tape, then I can't see it really working. I've seen videos and uh, information online where people have put two bits of tape so far apart and then connected each piece of tape to a small battery, you know, a six volt battery or something, so that there is a current and if the slug bridges the two pieces of tape, then it gets a shock. I can understand that. But the problem with that is it doesn't really last very long because those two pieces of copper are probably always losing current because they're on a pot of some sort and then they get wet and then there's a short and it probably doesn't really work. Never tried it so don't quote me on that. But I found on Amazon some copper netting. And this is a 20 foot roll and it was, I think it was 13 quid. And I thought, well, if this copper theory is true, they don't like copper. Maybe it could act as a bit of a security fence. And I could put that around my plants around the brassicas and other plants potentially as a fence and I would have thought it would be quite hard for a slug to climb up and then over and down the other side and also if the copper theory is true about uh, some kind of current running through it that might deter them as well so I thought I'd give it a go um, and over here I've got some old uh, welding rods, TIG welding rods, that are stainless steel, if I can get them out. And I thought I could cut those up. Put them through, feed them through the mesh as a sort of post, fence post, push them into the ground and make a little barrier around the brassicas. And this is actually uh, sold as a rodent deterrent and things like that. You can block up holes and what have you. And it's just a copper mesh. Cut it with scissors. 
So I thought I'd give it a go. For, for 13 quid, what have I got to lose, really, other than 13 quid? So I'll get a few tools together and uh, I'll make one up and we'll go out and put it around one of the plants and we'll give it a try. And I'll still come out every day uh, and check for slugs and I'll still do the beer traps, but I've then kind of got a three-pronged approach to protecting those plants because I've put a lot of work and effort into them since March or Jan no, February and uh, I don't want to lose them now so I'll see you in a minute there's one there in the netting itself these eat your plants whatever variety that is it'll eat your plants now if you're going to handle slugs like this wash your hands after I did mention in a previous video they carry lat they can carry rat lungworm disease and it will not do you any good at all it can even kill you so wash your hands he can go in the bear trap and if you don't know what a bear trap is let's just move the camera it is a plastic pot of some sort that you sink roughly level with the ground put a, sort of an inch or so of beer or lager in there and the slugs are attracted by the the smell I think it's the yeast that they're attracted by and they find their way in and then they can't get out. I think they get drunk and then they can't get out and they drown. Good idea to cover them with a bit of roof slate or a piece of plastic or anything on a few stones or clumps of earth so that they can crawl in but the rain doesn't dilute the beer solution. Right, so let's move the camera again. I'm going to have a go at this one here because it's still relatively healthy but it has been attacked and part of the problem here there's two problems with this, this bed I put homemade compost on here that may well have not rotted down properly uh, didn't get hot enough and therefore slugs came into it they've laid eggs and now all the baby slugs are coming out the other problem is it's really clumpy um, so the slugs have somewhere to hide in the day under the clumps of soil and then they come out when it's damp and cold and or cooler uh, and dark and munch away on the plants that I've given them in fact I can see one over there now heading towards one of my brassicas let me spin the camera around i'm going to go and get it have a look over there there he is and there's another one so he can go in that bear trap or she in fact aren't slugs he's and she's can't they sort of make eggs on their own? I don't know. Right, I'm going to spin you back around that way. Apologies, this isn't a particularly well edited video today, but as you can probably tell, I've been working all day. We're renovating the house, as a lot of you know and I've been plastering our landing all day and pretty tired and <laughs> just come out to do this quick video because the netting copper netting arrived today and I thought well I'm going to set one up and we're going to give it a go overnight so I think what I'm going to do is this leaf 
is no longer doing the plant anything so I'm going to take that away and this one and this is I believe a cauliflower and for some reason they've really gone for the cauliflower more than the broccoli and the sprouts they've really hammered the cauliflower and I don't know if that's because they particularly like cauliflower or just this area of the bed there's just a higher population of slugs or whatever but either way I'm gonna have a go at protecting this one so I've cut myself a bit of copper mesh I really need to level this ground out a bit so that it sits more or less level otherwise if it's there's a gap underneath it they're just going to crawl underneath it or slither underneath it whatever it is that they do so something like that hopefully the copper won't have any detrimental effect on the plant and then I've bent myself these little bits of wire that I'm going to use as legs and I'm going to start where the two ends meet and just thread it through alternate ways just to secure the, the join if that makes sense and then just push it into the ground and I've hit a stone straight away there we go I might need to move that a bit closer Another stone, another stone. There. And then I'm going to put one over this side. So now that plant is pretty much enclosed. I'm put the soil back around. Pretty much enclosed by a copper fence. And if unless there's a slug inside that fence or already on the plant, and I can't see one. That plant should be protected. I hope. From slugs and snails. Obviously it won't protect it from anything else like cabbage white butterfly or aphids. And for me, brassicas are one of the hardest plants to protect because just about everything wants to eat them or lay their eggs on them. So How's this bear trap? I need to empty these. If you've never done bear traps, the slugs, as they start to rot down, seem to ferment, and it really does smell quite bad. But I just put it all on the compost, and uh, I'm sure it adds some flavour to the compost. Right, I'm going to get this covered back over, and we're going to test I'm going to take a picture now of exactly what this plant looks like and I'm going to come out and compare in the morning to see if any more of it has been eaten. It'll be an interesting experiment and if this works well 13 quid for 20 feet I'll go with that and you know it's copper so it isn't gonna rust 
it's not going to rot away very easily anyway and as long as I look after them I can use them again year after year right I'm going to get the mesh back on before anything else turns up to eat these plants So I hope you've enjoyed this short video on how I'm trying to combat this problem, these slugs that we've got at the moment. Uh, with a three-pronged approach, the proven method of hand-picking them off and getting rid of them and beer traps, which is proven. And then a bit of a hybrid between the copper tape theory, in my opinion, it is a theory. I've never seen it work, although I'm not saying that it doesn't work please don't think that um, and a slightly different variation of it with a, a, a mesh fence which is made of copper but they will find it quite hard to climb up I would have thought because there isn't a lot for them to grip onto because the copper mesh is so thin but time will tell so I hope you've enjoyed, enjoyed the video if you have please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already, please do, because there's going to be lots more of this sort of thing. Trial and error, experiments, plus the development of this veg plot, which is the up there as well, the higher part, plus what you can see here. So thanks very much, and I'll catch you on the next video.